Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and this is one of my teaching DVDs and this DVD is about speed not power. That means to me the distance the ball goes is a result of the speed of the club head and not to do with how powerful the golfer is. Everyone has a maximum speed in golf balls or in running. If we took, let's say, 50 people, all the same sex, all the same age, all the same height, all the same weight, and got them to practice running for a whole year with the same coach, after one year, one person would be the fastest and one would be the slowest. That's just one example. Golf is the same. We're all different. Imagine if I had a magic formula to make everyone hit the ball 20% further, or even 10%. If I applied this formula to the longest hitters in the world, they would then hit the ball 20% further. If we applied the same formula to the shortest hitters in the world, they would still hit the ball 20% further. If you do the maths on that, the longest hitters will be even longer than they were before and even further past the shorter hitters. But there isn't a formula. I wish I had one, but I don't. Club head speed, that's what we need. Club head speed. The faster the club head goes, the further the ball goes. You may not have heard of a, a caterpillar tractor, a huge big machine they use for transporting goods around and this particular machine is a 797B it's got three and a half thousand brake horsepower that's hugely powerful club speed not the club has to be the speed of the caterpillar tractor is only 42 miles an hour top speed so three and a half thousand brake horsepower top speed 42 miles an hour Bugatti Veyron has got less than 1,000 brake horsepower and will travel at 253 miles an hour. So the Caterpillar truck, three, more than three times the amount of power, less speed. The Bugatti will go six times faster. Think of speed and not power. I'm going to show you on my computer screen two of my pupils and I will try and convince you to think about speed rather than power. There's two of my pupils, James on the left and Eric on the right. Different physiques, different heights, different ages. James on the left can carry the ball with a 7-9, this is a 7-9, 200 yards. Huge amount of speed. Eric on the right can't hit a 7-9. 200 yards. However, Eric's best gross score has been a 65, playing off a 6 handicap, net 59, and he equaled, I think he beat the course record, put his handicap down, and he won the medal. Back swings are very similar. Now watch. There's Eric's finish. Beautiful swing, beautiful tempo, everything's completely under control. And here comes James, hitting the ball much, much further. And I'm going to stop him there now. And you'll see the shaft angles are very, very similar. But that's the end of Eric's swing. Because of James's club head speed and his body moving very, very quickly, he continues. 
another 180 degrees. So normally, more speed or longer to follow through, and that just proves the point. James is now where Eric is, but Eric stopped. The sheer speed of the body turn and the arm movement and the wrist movement of young James propels the club right the way through to there. So, two very good golfers. James thinks of three. Eric, I think, is off five now. And they're both playing the same game. One can swing faster than the other and hit the ball further. It doesn't make him a hugely better golfer by hitting the ball further because the distance the ball goes is important, but also has to go fairly straight. So speed, not power. Think, think of the word speed. Not power, purely speed. You may well ask, where does the speed come from? Well, it comes from your body because the club head is static and it won't go anywhere until you make it go somewhere. The speed factors, and we're all different, don't forget. We're all different. The speed factors are these. Wrist hinge. There's the wrist hinge. Arm movement, moving upwards. Then the shoulders and hips turn round. So you need to use all of those speed sources to the best of your ability. If you watch a simple illustration, I'm going to hit a shot just with a hip turn and a shoulder turn, but no, no arm movement, no wrist movement. Let's see what happens. And the ball's gone more or less dead straight, but not very far. If these doors were open now, and there's a driving range behind the doors, that ball would have gone maybe 75 yards, 75 yards. I'm going to add to that mix a bit of arm movement and a bit of wrist hinge. There. Now, listen to the sound. A little bit thin, but that ball would have gone easily two or three times further than the first one. So the club head speed is a mix of turning your shoulders shoulders, turn your hips, moving your arms, hinging your wrists. Add it all together and there's the club head speed. And we're all different. I was never the longest hitter. My best score was a 66. And I just work on turning, hinging, arms. Again, very, very straight. There's a man called Connor Powers. Yes, that's really is his name. And he can achieve a club head speed of 153 miles an hour. 153 miles an hour. The ball leaves the club head with the driver at 220 miles per hour. Note that I'm quoting from my statistics that the club head speed is 153 miles an hour and the ball leaves at 222 miles an hour. I didn't use the word power. In fact, his name is Connor Powers, which is quite strange. But they always measure on Trackman, etc. They will measure the speed of the club head. That's the important thing, speed of the club head. I'm going to show you two more of my pupils now.
So on the left is Martin Young, handicap got down to plus four, which is amazing. On the right is Lady Torpor that I teach, and she happens to be Martin's brother's wife. Let's watch their swings. Pretty similar. Look at the shaft angle. Very, very similar. I've taught them both for quite a long time now. Martin for 15 years. He's won dozens and dozens of competitions. He's really good. And this got down to, I think, 18th was the lowest on the European tour. Martin will hit the ball further than this from more or less the same back sway. The reason being, Martin is taller and stronger and he will create more club head speed. More speed. Everyone has their limit. Very hard to get past it. Hitting the ball in the middle of the face is important. Hitting the ball with the face going down towards the tiger line is important. But the key thing is speed. And that comes from your hips turning, shoulders turning, wrists hinging, arm movement. Let's watch them again. So good hip turn, good shoulder turn, good arm lift, good wrist hinge. Martin, good hip turn, less shoulder turn than, than Liz on the right there. Good arm movement, arms moving away from the body, good wrist hinge. Add it all together, club head speed. Not power, club head speed. I try and avoid using the word power all of the time. It's quite damaging. Some people get quite worried of the fact that they they can't hit the ball as far as other people. That's the game, I'm afraid. That's how golf is played. I teach two ladies, and they both have their own businesses. And I asked them once, what makes the ball go the distance it goes? And they gave me the same answer. They said it's the swing. Well, I pointed out to them that with a really good swing, but no speed, the ball will not go very far. I got them both to realize that it isn't just the swing, it's the speed of the swing. And they both then swung down faster with everything, faster hip movement, faster shoulder movement, faster arm movement, faster wrist movement, and they hit the ball 20 yards further almost straight away, with the same swing. Back swing, nice and slow, controlled. Forward swing, really fast. You can, if you wish, stop at the top, it doesn't make any difference. Swing back, stop, and then swing down very quickly. But you'll have your maximum speed and nobody can make you swing faster than you can swing, but that means, as an amateur golfer, you've got this fantastic handicap system. So the longest hitter in any golf club can compete against the shortest hitter in any golf club on an equal footing because of this fantastic handicap system. One of the best things about golf to me is the handicap system because everybody can play against everybody else. It's great. Maybe point, I know less than 0.1% of people are golf professionals, so distance isn't that important. The important thing about playing golf for people I teach is to enjoy it. Golf pros are a bit different because they want to make money, but most people who play golf want to enjoy it, and the handicap system allows you to do that. So, club head speed, not power club isn't moving, you do, do all the moving, and whether your swing is good, bad or ugly, if you swing down faster, the ball will go further. Maybe not in the right direction, but it will go further. So, swing back, little pause, 
and then swing right from the backswing to the finish at speed. Speed, not power. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.